just landed in a confined area and this is exactly the sort of thing the students here do and also the kind of terrain they may have to fly into on active service. And now we're lifting off again. Well, I've been finding out all about wasp stings today, so I'm treading very carefully and a little bit worried now. Experts say you shouldn't try and swat them, but just slowly move away. Simon Ward, East Midlands today at the White Post Farm Centre. Thank you, David, at showing off his legs there. I think his, la <laughs> his lady fans may have wanted him to take his shirt off before he dived in there. No, I think the shorts <laughs> is quite enough, don't you? <laughs> You're watching uh, Central tonight. The time's just coming up to quarter past six and still ahead this evening. <sighs> I don't know how Father Christmas does it, you know. Beats going to the gym, I suppose. Now, I'm here in Mansfield to meet two six-year-old boys, Carl and Michael. Not only are they brothers, but they're twins as well. Joining me now live from Trent Bridge is the Nottinghamshire Chief Executive, Lisa Pursehouse. Lisa, from a Trent Bridge point of view, is all these wickets falling good or bad for business? I think it's great. Hello, now the news for the East Midlands. I'm Simon Ward. A science teacher has appeared before magistrates in Nottinghamshire accused of attempting to murder one of his pupils. With me now is the deputy leader of the council, David Sprayson. Why are you selling off the council care homes to a company that's failing? Well, we want to secure the future of these care homes and make sure they're here for the future, for future residents. Yes, but my uh, question was, why, why sell it to a company that's failing? Well, they're not a failing company. Well, they are, they are according to the Care Quality we, Commission. We've, we've seen minor, minor concerns around uh, their homes, uh, which they've addressed very quickly. But it certainly doesn't go far enough. Well, Mr Bone, you've heard what Mr Allen had to say there. If parents are having problems, doesn't the government have a duty to help them? No, I don't actually go along with that. And a warm welcome back to Channel Report. Joining us live here at Normal Points in Jersey, ready for the final leg of the Clipper Round the World race. 35,000 miles they've been doing around the world. This is Camp Jeroboa in Bavaria, which is being treated in exactly the same way as a frontline base would be in Iraq. I'm also being treated as an embedded journalist, right down to wearing the body armour. I'm living in the camp alongside B Company. They use one of the latest heavily armoured vehicles, the Mastiff. Sergeant Nathan Potter has served in Iraq and says training under operational conditions is very important. Uh, and being a lad from Leicester, you know, I take great pride in being a platoon sergeant in B Company. I want to be a role model for people like me, deaf or disabled. I want to give them more confidence and tell them that you can do anything, you can make your dreams come true. Thanks for your email. Terry Maxwell from Bradmore in Nottinghamshire was inspired to write this song about the £25 a year charge made by Rushcliffe Borough Council for collecting green waste bins. The children head off to start their day. But as they do, Louise gets a message from the council to say that in her case, Jordan will continue to have free transport. It's a relief. Well, that's it as the day draws to a close. But Philip will open again sometime tomorrow. Simon Ward, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester. <laughs>